RMI Roxy cord. Would you look at all the coils? Well, let's start underneath. If you ever have to get down there, your day is not good. Just the connections underneath there. I'm going to drop that back down. Woo! Dong! an elevator or something. Third floor. Musical appliances. Okay, yeah, the um so you have to get this thing lined up right so they'll trigger when I hit the notes. There we go. Now notice we've got a very quiet A here. non-existent that it used to be. Oh, there we go. Uh, I just don't have it set in there right yet. We'll get that. Anyway, but, um, so this, there we go. It's a very quiet note. Now I'm going to have to pull uh, these um, screws here go through everything. You don't pull those. You pull just the Phillips ones, and you can pull this front tray up, I believe. You can find your tool. Oh, there it is. Alright, this is the layer that we find above that, and here we actually have some transistors, diodes, and um, as well as capacitors and resistors for the first time in the circuit, transistors and diodes, though. Uh, up here, it is on the next level, purely capacitors and coils and resistors. As with that level, as with all the filters, I believe, I don't think, I didn't see a single transistor used anywhere. Everything that is um, sound generating, shaping, is entirely transistor and diode free. They use only devices that are uh, fairly linear in response. They're the Transistor, of course, and diode have a very nonlinear uh, curve. You start to turn the current up at a certain point, it just goes shooting up. And uh, the beauty of that is you can do a lot of flexible things with them because of that property, like get extremely high gain circuits and so on. But um, anyway, the um, screwdriver's mine there, that didn't come with it. From the very top layer there, so there's another layer below here which uh, you will find very similar to the other one. This is for the 4 foot and this is for the 8 foot down here I think. Right? Did I remember that right? Anyway, and two independent outputs I found one for the 8 and one for the 4 foot which confused me greatly at first. I was looking to see why and these were di wired different. I thought, oh no, they only wired one of the wires to the pot. But that one's actually just used as a, as a uh, kill to ground kind of thing. It damps it to ground as you turn the resistance down there and um, takes away your signal on that one. So uh, the trouble is going to be in those capacitors probably or leaky diodes typically we find in this type of circuit a lot. Not sure when these were built but they are certainly one of the, I mean I've never seen anything with that many coils. Every footage and note has its own tuning coil and capacitor. All right, we'll see what's wrong with it. Why though we're getting some not so present. So that one's got the 16, but no, or the 8, but no 4. Both, both. That one's got the 4, but no 8 foot on that one. So the Roxy cord is. should go through and run the tune a little closer. It has uh, two oscillator per note, so anyway, uh, let's go through the sandwiches here and show you what really was going on. 
down at the low level, of course. Those transistors in back, they're hard to get to. You have to prop this thing up. Those had some legs breaking. And uh, they, um, because they have covers over them, moisture somehow accumulated in a few of them. And they snapped off eventually, killing that note. Because up here all you have is the coil and these capacitors are two or three in parallel to create the exact uh, note range they need and then the potentiometer does the fine adjustment on the pitch. And that's your feed through which goes down then to this transistor circuitry I mean those capacitors there are your feed through I think uh, to this transistor circuitry that um, amplifies the tendency of those coils and calves to oscillate and uh, so um, that gives you the actual signal that can be heard and uh, then these are these front capacitors are all like I said measuring uh, high ESR you know and they should be eventually replaced but you got the same thing underneath here same thing only a little different layout but anyway yeah that's the um, let's see in there how it is you can already see that and so that's the Roxy chord, and I guess, um, yeah, we've got some notes that are just slightly dimmer on some footage than others, but it's close enough, it kind of gives it that, you know, I am a real instrument kind of feel. <laughs> anyway, great. A little cosmetic overview here. The thing has, um, see, quite a few possibilities in the Uh oh. Did we just lose another key and we put it back together? Oh my, how'd that happen? Uh oh. Oh boy. This isn't both footages. I don't understand that. See we're no. Or if it wasn't up, but nonetheless. Oh, that's weird. Bad contact. Check that contact. a little bit on that. I guess that's what all the wires might, I don't know. Yeah, the, the low resistance network, maybe that's what it is involved with. Organ mode, act center. A lot 
of really beautiful possibilities. Block. Subtle pop effect. Well, that's pretty much it, you know. Leave it to your imagination what you could come up with. Mix all those, because I'm not going to mix all of them. is working. Okay. Let's see, let's make sure. I don't hear anything funny. It must have just been a bad contact there. All right. That is the <laughs> And if you can only stand half of a Roxy piano, this is pretty much it. The uh, as you can see, not quite as thick. Doesn't have as much stuff going on in this one. But the same idea, very much same kind of sound, but just not quite as thick on oscillators. Half as many, it looks like.